Welcome, this is Warth al Ma'wali. I'll be talking about SSLI. So, SSLI is a free product that I have developed with my partner, and this software product allows you to identify if you're having a man in the middle attack. And normally, we visit uh, websites like, for example, google.com or gmail.com. And if you need to find if this website is secure or not, normally a normal user would just go to the browser and check if that site starts with HTTPS. And if, he, if he's a bit advanced, he would just check it's been issued by a valid issuer or not, or a non-issued or not. And with SSLI, you can go further and you can find out a lot of information that the normal browser wouldn't give you easily. And with this information, you, you can identify if that certificate is valid or it's a fake certificate. So stay tuned. Okay, so if we want to validate a website and check if the SSL certificate is valid. So for example, we need to validate coing.com. So first of all, you need to download SSLI. You have to go to dg77.com, then go to free privacy software tools SSLI and you can download SSLI from here uh, SSLI is totally free so once you download it and install it you can always uh, execute it from your desktop so let's let's run it okay so this is SSLI uh, you can type the domain here coing.com or you can copy and paste it once you copy and paste it just press on the scan button and it will start scanning so what does this normally uh, does it it uh, uh, it goes through the nodes VPS nodes around the globe that we are we are owning and we are running so each of these nodes will request the same website and it will ask for the SSL information and it will compare the fingerprint of it. So if this one is green, it means the fingerprints of CoinG matches the other nodes in other words. But if you are having a man in the middle attack on your ISP level and they are sending you a fake certificate, this will be highlighted in red. This can even happen in a coffee shop. So if you're using a free Wi-Fi, this can also happen. So if it happens, you will see it in red. Uh, normally, normally, if it's red over here, or I mean, if it's different over here or different over here, it means they have a problem with USA. I mean, there's, there's a finger, uh, there's a certificate uh, attack or man in the middle attack over there happening. So, so normally all the fingerprints should be the same among all those countries including your country so even if I travel I normally run this application just to make sure that my website I'm visiting is having a genuine certificate and not fake certificate so this is this this is the fingerprints as you can see it says 6a it starts with 6a and it ends with 2c so let's verify this from the web uh, browser so SSLI saves you the hassle instead of going here and f trying to find the information you get it in front of you over there so you see how simple over there it was it's just one click and you get the information and it's among all the countries over here you just get it locally so this is from your browser it, say, it says fingerprint starts with 6a ends with 2c which is similar to this and if we see the information where is it issued by? It's issued by Komodo and if we check over here, yes, it's issued by Komodo as well. Uh, it belongs to CoinG. Uh, you can see it has a tick on extended validation. Extended validation means the company went through further validation process to get their certificate and you can always, on a browser, you'll see it like this. Bitrex doesn't have that, so if if we see Bitrex, you see the, the difference. There is no extended validation. So it's normal padlock, but you don't have the company name here on the left. But if you compare it with Konji, this, this means it's, it's been uh, valid through extended validation, which is better, which is a bonus. Okay. And the other option is perfect forward secrecy. This means if the encryption gets 
broken within five years from now, let's say, uh, you can still, you, you cannot uh, decrypt the data, even if you have the key after 10 years. So, so it's not reversible. It's, it uses uh, uh, Defi Hellman, this is what it's called. And with Defi Hellman, you cannot reverse it back. So it's always better to have perfect forward secrecy. Uh, you can see the key exchange, the message authentication, and the connection encryption over here. Of course, the IP is IP can change, but the main thing is this not to change the fingerprints. So as you can see, the fingerprints is identical. Uh, okay, what about if I need to scan multiple websites? Okay, if I need to scan multiple websites, you can we, you can load a list. We have a preload list which is here. This is for common uh, social websites. But if you have your own list that you want to load, you can always go to custom website, load from a file, and you choose the, the list. It should be on a text file, and the list is loaded over here. If I click on scan, it will sc scan all of these websites at once. So six of them will be scanned at once. So you can see now it's doing the scanning for all of them and it will verify each of these websites and tells you if anything is wrong with them. So it's very important to have the correct uh, fingerprint. As, as you can see for wex.nz it's, it's different from, from other websites so which is Bitrex over here. So this is a different. So Bitrex says it starts with 4.8 and it ends with 1D. Let's verify that. As you can see, you have to go through a long process. 4.8 and ends with 1D. It's the same. So if we had a man in the bit, uh, man in the middle attack, you wouldn't have a tick over here. This would be red, highlighted in red. So you will know you have a problem here. So always you have to verify that your local ISP is giving you what other countries is having. So if your local ISP having a fingerprint of bitrex.com uh, and it starts with 8O instead of 48, it means you have a man in the middle attack uh, probably and and you should you should not enter your login information through HTTPS. Okay, what about if I need to do the scan automatically instead of me going and clicking over here? I want to do the scan of Bitrex automatically. Well, all I have to do is go to Bitrex here and press Control Shift S. As you can see, it started scanning now. I can verify that. Scanning Bitrex.com. You can see that. So all what I, I did is double click on this bar Control C to copy it, then Control Shift S, you, and it will automatically scan Bitrex. Uh, if you go to Options, you can control the single scan automated key. This is the hot key. So now it's Control Shift S, and it will do the single scan. If I want to do multiple uh, scan, I would just press uh, Control Shift M on my keyboard, and it will do it. Uh, of course, you can enable enable sound notification. You have other options. You can change the skin color. So if you need let's say dark one you can always change the skin as you can see bitrex doesn't have extended validation as we talked about earlier so if we close this window and this and come back to here you see it doesn't have that so it's just https with a padlock it doesn't have the company name on the left and ssli verifies this but it also tells you that Bitrex has perfect forward secrecy. You can always va validate this, all this information through a website called uh, uh, SSL Labs. So if I need to validate Bitrex and make sure that, okay, this is the fingerprints and it, it, it actually has, has, uh, doesn't have extended validation, I can go here, I can say, verify domain with SSL lab in default browser so it will load the default browser and it will start scanning for bitrex and give you the results of course over here you can collapse all you can expand all you can save the reports so if I need to save this report I can export results to my desktop and say scan results 
save and if we go and check it it should be here as you can see these are the results in HTML format for each domain I mean you can scan even hundred domains it doesn't matter uh, and it will give you all the results of those domains with the with the information related to it you have the IP the fingerprints and the domain and the SSL uh, information the provider is here everything is here so this is for Bitrex and if you go down as you can see this is for wex.nz so you can keep going and this is the report that we've exported if we go to SSL lab it is still uh, scanning so let's go back here you can see m most of the sites that have been uh, scanned as you can see Google is number one by visitors and oh this one is done let's let's have a look so Bitrex has more than one IP and as, as you can see here extended validation it says no okay and I don't know if we have perfect forward secrecy yeah forward secrecy see it says it is here it's it's it is valid so if we go again back to bitrex it says extended validation no and perfect for secrecy is there so this is this is just confirming what we've seen here and on this one you can see the websites that have been scanned through this program and logs will show you what has been going on through the application of course you have a help here if you need support okay you can check IP who is lookup you can copy the clipboard the host and sell fingerprints so if, if I need to copy the fingerprint it says 481D let me paste it here see you can see that's the fingerprint so you can do a lot of things in up this application information so if I need to check the host information of this IP address I just click on it and it will open it on the browser so it will go and give you the information see so this one belongs to the IP that we've seen over here it, sta it starts uh, with 104 and ends with 108 and this is the IP okay of course it gives you the range of it so it starts from zero and ends to the entire uh, subnet mass to 255 uh, I think I've covered most of the things that I want to cover with SSLI so it's very useful application if you need to validate certificates for multiple websites so normally you have a predefined list something like this and you just load it and do it once and this is very useful especially when you are using public Wi-Fi and you're not having a VPN or if you are traveling and you need to verify those certificates and you make sure that there is no man in the middle attack this is what you have to do download SSLI and scan those uh, critical websites before you you start using them I think I've covered most of the thing I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this video uh, please subscribe and like and I hope to see you again thank you very much